Hello everyone, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Crafts. It's been a few weeks since I've last been on, but um, it's just taken a little bit longer to work out the dimensions of this one. Anyway, I was asked to make a pinwheel card, or shall I say I was asked, it was um, a challenge group that I'm in, and this month's challenge was a pinwheel card. So I made those three pinwheel cards and this is the adaption I made. So what I've done is I made the pinwheel card but I just made it with my concertina folds in the middle. So it's just a pinwheel card but an elaborate pinwheel card. So that's what we're going to be making today. So here's the dimensions. You're going to need card, acetate, butterflies, trimmings, paper if you're going to be using paper. Now first of all you are going to need, I'll put that there just in case you want to screenshot it, you're going to need one piece of card, eight and a quarter by five and a half, for the main structure of the card and then you have three of these which are three and a three and a quarter by five and a half they are i'll show you in a minute what they are for so you need that you need one of these three of these and you need some acetate now you actually need four of these pieces of acetate this is what goes in the centre each fold, which you attach your butterflies or whatever else you are putting on it to it. That needs to be five and a half inch high. And this is half an inch. Each one of these is half an inch. So half one, half two, half three. So you need a three inch piece by five and a half inch high four times. One, two, this is just surplus because it's just the way that the size of the paper. So you need one of these, eight and a quarter by five and a half, three of these equals three of. You can screenshot that. And then you need your acetate sheets. Um, to to get you started so this one first of all let's move this out of the way this is your tunnel size and you fold it over and this last piece you glue this last piece and it's the last piece is actually stuck to this card here so that is your first piece and then these three are put like that that one's already got one so then you put that one there this one will go here and then this one will go here so you've got your pinwheel so let me just move that to the side and I will show you your next stage. Now mats and layers, I've actually, as you can see, I've used a mat and a layer, but most people will, well, I say most people, there's probably as many people that just do the one layer as there are does the two layers. In the quarter of inch in increments, That could be your mat and that could be your layer. Now these need to be stuck inside your card before you add your acetate. So at the moment it's like this. Let's move your butterflies, you're gonna need them. At the moment, this is what you're left with when you've done that first bit of pasting. Everything folds flat, it just folds flat into a, I think it's a C5 card. I can't remember actually. Let's have a look. 
it's six and a half by five and a half so you'll probably want seven by six or thereabouts or if you make your cards it won't be a problem so that's what you've got at the moment then you add your pattern because you need to add this first before you put your acetate in and then your acetate let me show you something on this you've got one two three four five six six half inches and when you fold it half inches you've got like two ends here now these two ends let me show you these are the ones that have got to go in here so oops, you will glue that end and that end and they're the ones that stick onto these sides so if I put that in like that and these two ends are the ones that stick on the back because then it leaves you with two folds for your butterflies or whatever else you want to put on there. So it would have already been patterned and then these go on the inside. So you've got those edge pieces on there. You could put a strip of um, Leary card or something down there just to cover those up if they bothered you. But to be honest, once you've got these on here, you 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 don't actually see them. So um, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. And if it does, use red liner tape or something like that. So anyway... So that's the principles, that's all you need to do. Then you put your butterflies or whatever you're using on your acetate and then you add it to your cards. So this is a butterfly one, this is, this is really pretty, I like this one. So I'm going to show you the other ones that I've done now, let me move that out of the way. And then we've got a white one. I just thought this patterned paper looks nice with just white. It just needed just white, but you can add color in there. It's it's personal choice. I just thought it was something different. These were like bluebells, but I just thought they were nice in the white. So that's the second one. Then I've got another butterfly one. Obviously, this is nice. I thought with a yellow, it could have yellow and pink flowers because the pink's there. Again, it all folds flat. Well, that's the only thing you do have to be careful of is you have to know which side you're going to be closing it. So that's the second one. This one, again, has got some white and some colour. So that's that one. And the final one is butterflies again. It's sort of got like a bit of nice, nice backing paper on this one. So I just thought it needed a bit heavier colour butterflies. So that's that one. So that's the four that, or five that I've made today. Well, not made today, but in the tutorial today. So here you go. Next week is something exciting again. Um, not that can fold, but something that I'm pretty sure you'll all love. So that's it for now. Thank you then, and I'll catch up with you soon.